We asked members within the team to learn a new style of dance that they've never trained in. For the next 30 days, they will be learning house dance and at the end of their training, they will come together to showcase their progress. This is The Ground Up. Hey guys, my name is Peter. Hi everybody, my name is Josh Chun. Hi, my name is Allison. I'm from V3 and I'll be learning house. So I've been dancing since eighth grade, so it's been about seven years now. It's kind of tough because I feel like I've dabbled in a lot of different styles, but have I really gotten formal training? Debatable. So I've been dancing for about nine years and I am trained in uh, b-boying and choreo. The teams that I've been in consist of uh, a small crew that, uh, where we call ourselves Soul Sauce Crew. <laughs> uh, shout out to Jeremy and Austin. I don't really have a strong background in dancing. It's always just been, you know, for fun. I don't really take classes. I don't know famous dancers that people name drop here and there like, oh my god, you take so-and-so's class? Yeah, no, I don't even know who that is. In terms of house, on a scale of 0 to 100, probably 2. I know almost nothing about house, house dance. In terms of house dancing, the only thing that I know is that one step that everybody does, it's just like the kick, kick, and leg back, you know what I mean? It looks kind of kind of like a, kind of looks like the Spongebob move. That's the only house move that I know of. I want to learn house because I love how free people look when they do house dance. And I think I would like that uh, getting older too, as an old person just like grooving around. I think that would be fun. So I feel like if I learn housing, I'll be good at a lot of other stuff down the road. It'll be a very good foundation block for me because I'm still learning. Naturally, I'm pretty flowy and stuff, but housing is like, you have to constantly be on tempo, I feel like. And so that'll be new for me. I'm excited to see how this glorifies God because uh, as unclear as it might seem now, um, I know that in all of our hearts, um, that's what we're looking for in everything that we do. And so, um, yeah, I think I'm excited to see how God uses this for, for His glory. This is my humble and messy abode. So this is where I'm gonna be spending most of my training. And luckily I have a huge mirror right here. Today, I'm gonna be taking the beginner's house program uh, on Steezy with Jojo Diggs. I'm just gonna get started by building a plan for the next 30 days. Um, just building a list of resources and things I wanna learn. Awkward. It is gonna be very awkward for a while. I don't, I don't feel like I'm doing anything. So some challenges right off the bat is getting my arms to sync with my legs. And the back step, that's really hard. I feel super unnatural doing it. Actually, all of the moves, I feel pretty unnatural doing it. But I think I'm starting to get the hang of like the jack. Yeah. It's a weird angle, but I'm going to show you what I look like right now. Head jack. Here we go. Back step. So. This is gonna be very difficult to get like normalized because it feels very awkward. This is the foundation, so this is the move that I really need to practice and really normalize. Otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna get very far with housing. I feel like I'm weak on uh, the jack or like the grooves anywhere from like my knees to my collarbone. That region lacks. <laughs> Lacks the bounce. Lacks the bounce. Hey, we just did this whole time. Do it without looks. Go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, seven. Seven. <laughs> seven, eight, go. <laughs> Another day has gone by and it's time to train. It is 11.59 p.m. I'm squeezing it in there. Oh, pushing Oh, What? Oh, Can't execute it, but I got it. Take a short break. I'm realizing that as boring 
as drills might be, I think I'm realizing how important they are. Even moves that I think are like basic in my mind, turning out to be challenges when I try to mix them up or incorporate them with other moves. House class number four for beginners. Before we get into that, I wanna update y'all on how I've been feeling about house dancing. I think once you get the groove, it's fun, but I haven't really gotten the groove just yet. The head jack along with the feet has been very, very difficult to do at the same time. I think throughout this week as I'm working on my own stuff, I'm probably just gonna sit at my desk and just practice this head jack movement, I'm trying to get used to this. Definitely have a lot to work on, so let's get to it. She says, see where that groove takes you? I have no groove, so I guess I'm going nowhere. Huh. Okay, the first move today is called the skate, and I know I'm not doing it right. She kind of like drags it back as she's lifting it. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know what I look like. Let me, let me look at the footage. Yeah, I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're doing variations now. Cross in front for four. Okay, so I just learned a move called the train. Let me show you what it looks like, but I love it. Isn't that cool? I was not able to do that like five minutes ago. She said if my calves are hurting, I'm doing it wrong, and my calves are on fire. Just about 30 minutes later, and I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> I remember in an earlier day, I was saying like, oh, my arms look really sloppy. <sighs> See, that's the thing about me. I'm so particular about getting things right. House is such a free dance style. I think I kind of need to let go of some of my ideas of like making it look correct. That's gonna be hard to break out of. I don't think I can do it today, but I'm gonna take baby steps towards that. I don't know what today is, but I brought some friends to learn some house, and they're in my house, doing house. Wow. Lead with them hips. Oh, get them hips. Okay. Get them hips. Last time, here we go. When times are tough, you just gotta hang in there. I think if it weren't for this challenge and the accountability of my teammates, I wouldn't have progressed this far so fast. I think I need to apply this for my Bible reading. Yeah, so far, what a great experience. Thanks for joining us on this journey so far, and I hope it's uh, somewhat entertaining for you guys too. All right, peace, see ya. Okay. Okay, three goals for freestyle. One, use all my foundations. Two, groundwork. Three, switch up the tempo. So I just got to the studio, we're about to freestyle, and I'm freaking out because I know Peter and Allison are gonna kill it. I think I spent a lot of time trying to think about um, like the joy of freestyling and also enjoying um, the experience with other people. I got some good advice to pray and to remember that it's not about me, that it's about God's glory and to just have fun. You know, up until this point, I had been housing by myself, like in my room and in my garage. And so I think I was just excited to, to share um, the experience with the, my friends and my teammates. I'm not gonna look as good, especially since when COVID hit, I haven't really been exercising or dancing, so I'm kind of just like fat and out of shape. So, you know, hopefully we'll uh, pull something out of our little tush, but uh, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous to be real. I'm really excited to see Josh and Peter dance and I'm sure they've done an amazing job and yeah, I can't wait. I hope it's gonna be fun and I'm just gonna go into it trying to have a good time. 
You guys ready? No. <laughs> Get it loud.
Okay, so what I think, um, and this, Eddie said this too, is that Josh um, opened up his vocabulary because usually when he freestyles, it's it's kind of like in a box a little bit. But I feel like the box has been open to like new areas of dance. Peter um, looks like a legit house dancer, so he looks very authentic um, to what like the people from Just Debu would dance like, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think his I think his foundations are are legit, and then with Ali, it's it's. Um, she incorporated it really well with her style and it kind of like married very well, meshed very well, you know? Into this little ball here and you're like looking at it and you're like, oh that does look pretty cool versus this by itself and this by itself. It's like, oh shoot, man, it's house and alley. No, but that, that's the thing. That's arguably real house. Because Jojo Diggs said too, it's foundations plus you. Like when you marry those two, that's that's true freestyle. Yeah. I didn't know she said that. So, I think Ali, Ali, dude, you really got it, man. Her. Oh, yeah! <laughs> it wasn't a competition! Yeah, everyone did was, amazing. Was, I, from the beginning, <laughs> Ali was like, I'm gonna crush it! <laughs> I'm still gonna crush him. <laughs> I mean that, totally. She crushed it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I was inspired watching you guys. Yeah. I was inspired too. You guys are so cool. Very good. Round of applause. Oh. Thank you.